Hello my viewers, name. you're welcome to TNN Show. My name's are Igwe Choma, and I'm here in the studio with my co-host. Yes, and my name is IUS Sinku. Welcome once again. And we're going to be talking about the topic, tribalism in mind. We're going on a short break. When we come back, we'll continue. Thank you. Welcome back, guys. So, um, beautiful lady, what do you think about tribalism in marriage? Well, um, I think um, tribalism is a very big part when it comes to marriages, especially in Nigeria. Yeah, you know Nigerians, we are very tribalistic. Okay. Hey, I'm from this part of the country. Hey, I can't do this in certain... So when you talk about tribalism in marriage, it means I as a person choosing not to marry from another tribe which is different from mine okay. and most times you see that these things are actually influenced by our parents or our families exactly. which in in most cases it affects the individuals who are involved which is probably the young person like you and i who are trying to get married and then our parents tells us you can't get married from this tribe or that tribe and then end up breaking their hearts so that's okay it. so like you all know Tribalism is one of the greatest problems we have in our society and family today. Mm -hmm. You know, for example, your, your, your dad or your mom can just say, ah, you cannot marry from this tribe, you can marry from this tribe because of one thing or the other, I don't know. But for me, I don't think tribalism is necessary. Mm -hmm. I think if I want to get married, I'll get married to where I find love and where love finds me. Mm -hmm. I cannot just, because of my, my dad or my mom say, okay, don't marry from this place, then I'll just know. I think if I love this person, I'll go for this person. If I, I know he lost me too, I'll go for it. Mm, so, mm. and um, there, there are other things. You no, know, there are certain factors that also influence this tribalism when it comes to marriages. You know, some families tell you if you marry someone that is different from this our tribe, how will the person understand our language? How will the person understand the kind of food we eat? So imagine I come from a culture or a tribe where it is okay to eat snails. Mm -hmm. And then I'm in love with this guy who his family snail probably they worship him. There are some parts of Nigeria yeah. where snails are like gods and, and they that's worship the them. Why, why I said you, because you cannot tell me um, if I love this particular person and I want to get married to this particular person, my father or my mom will just come up and say, ah, you know, if you marry from this tribe, oh, uh, then be rich, then be this one, then be that one. So many people marry from that same tribe, but you want your parents to advise them to marry. If you get to get issues, mm, mm, you understand. Mm, mm, if you still get issues, you know, my, my mom will tell me, say, ah, you know, go marry from this um, particular side of Igbo, or you cannot marry from this particular side of the, mm, the, the country mm. or the states. You understand? Then I can't eventually leave that man where I don't say love me, mm. and then we, we love ourselves. Then I can't go marry another man. Mm. At the end of the day, we can't begin to get issues. Mm, because, Who I won't blame. Yeah, because it, it's it's not totally dependent on marrying from so, a completely different. Someone can be in the same tribe, but different families. Yes, and of course. The family will tell you, you, don't, you don't intermarry from this other family uh -huh. because of maybe rivalry between them, community exactly. clash, and all that. So it now places a boundary on the girl or the guy who probably is supposed to be in a relationship and then you as a person now because of family boundaries so imagine my parents telling me from the scratch you know growing up in my house my my, my mom will always tell you this so, so tribe no try am no try am no exactly. even start exactly. may not be saying later you can't even feel like uh -huh. so me now going into a relationship there are certain people i don't even try to be too serious about because mm -hmm. i know if i bring this person to the house it would be a problem to exactly. be another prayer point mm -hmm. so i'm also now limiting myself because i don't want to have issues with my family as a result of the tribe my intended spouse will come from so that is also bringing a barrier there's a exactly. limitation exactly. okay i want to say something you just mm. you just imagine say okay your family they bring up tribalism like every minute um you can't buy it from this place you can't buy it from this state you can't buy it from this and you're getting up to 30 you don't need 35 mm. your family they tell you say i'm not even where you come from, from that tribe. tribe from that tribe like <laughs> i don't know what you would do my dear <laughs> you go see <single. laughs> You understand my point? Yeah, understand? yeah. If the love is there, if everything is, I see. I, I don't even want to think about it because mm. if you don't, they, 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 I don't see. I don't see people in their house. Mm. They reach forty because of tribalism. Mm. They don't want. Then we can say this system. Our system is messed up. Mm. You don't want to get married because you think uh, this person is not good. This, this tribe is not good. This tribe is not good. Mm. See that your tribe. If you say good, if you mm. still marry from that tribe, you give you problem. Mm. The person may marry from even 
kill you. There are no guarantees. Or, yes, or this, you, do you, yeah. are you understanding? Mm, so that is it. Definitely, of course. And another thing, we on that I had a friend, and then she told me straight up, look, I can't marry for someone who is not from my tribe. You know why? She said, I don't want to start teaching him how to speak my Mentality. language. That stress of teach why I need someone that can understand, you know, because they are tribe, they like all this respect you prostrate, and then if you got married from someone from a, a, a another tribe where they don't see all those things, uh -huh. imagine now, imagine me now as a potential girl. Yeah, imagine if I marry from a, a tribe that is they like people to lie down to sleep, and mm -hmm. then me, I'll go as PhD, I'll come with stuff, put my half my waist. Then they, uh, they automatically they feel you're rude, you're I swear, like, like, I but you don't understand that that is your own culture, there's no need of you, you like, understand, like, so there'll be a conflict. Conflicts exactly. Instantly. Like if you, I don't think there is any need for tribalism. Mm. If you love each other, you love him, he loves you, you can go ahead. Conclusively, okay, I believe um, we should have understanding. Mm. There should be a good way of communicating in our families. Our parents okay. need to understand that when your child grows to a point where he or she is able to pick out his spouse, that means that person is an adult. He should be able to take responsibility for his actions. Exactly. I don't expect that parents would keep telling children in this society All right. why to marry and where not to marry. Let them take responsibility. All right. All right, guys. In conclusion, I would advise you. I would advise the man, the woman, get married from where you find love. From any tribe. I don't think there is need for discrimination or tribalism. Get married to whosoever you love. Mm. Whosoever you find loving, get married to that person. Peace of mind. Peace of mind is everything. Yeah. Do you get? You don't don't allow your parents to lead you into what you don't know. Maybe tomorrow you start crying and telling everybody that ah, mm. it's from my, Just do what, what just do what's best for you. If he loves you, go for it. If he loves him, go for it. And please, if you're getting married, try to respect his or our culture. Whatever they do there, you respect it. Because you're there, you've made up your mind to be there. Mm. So respect it. Thank you so much guys. Thank you for watching. Please, I know you all would love to comment. Comment, share, like, and thank you. We love you.